This video is brought to you by ThePuzzler.com. Hey everyone, back in my junior year of high school, I knew I had to take the SAT but had no clue how to prepare. Luckily, after lots of preparation and scouring the SAT subreddit, I was able to give a perfect score of 1600 on the SAT. But the thing is, there's nothing on my SAT journey that was unique to me. As long as you are willing to put in time to prepare for the SAT, you can just as well get a perfect score too. In this video, I'll go over the resources I used and how I used them to get a perfect score. This video won't really cover SAT test taking tips, that's going to be the topic of another video on this channel. So quick background of my SAT journey. Uh, I first learned about the SAT back when I was a sophomore. I had no clue how to really prepare for the test and was the first in my family to be taking the test. Uh, I took the test twice before finally receiving a try. So the only two resources that I used to prepare for the test was the Khan Academy SAT prep and the free practice SAT test. I didn't use any paid resources or tutors. And in fact, I believe that Khan Academy's free SAT test prep and then the free SAT test available by College Board are more than enough for any motivated student to score extremely well on the test. Now, before I go into more detail about all the resources that I used, make sure you subscribe to this channel so you're notified about any other videos I make about the SAT and drop a like on this video. A couple of years ago, Khan Academy partnered with College Board to bring out all these free resources related to the SAT test. I included tons for like reading, writing, and math, and also like digital versions of the practice SAT tests that were available by College Board. Uh, these resources actually turned out to be really helpful. And in fact, 90% of my practice for the SAT came directly from Khan Academy. So if you saw the thumbnail of this video, you saw that I did around 1600 questions in total for my SAT prep. And that finally led to me getting a perfect score. So for me, in my head, to keep me motivated, I always like to think that for each question that I'm doing on Khan Academy, I'm seeing a one point increase in my score. Um, that's not always the case. Not everyone is the same. And perhaps you need less practice or more practice. I know friends who had, who had only done around 200 questions or 100 questions on Khan Academy and still scored exceptionally well on the SAT. Um, but it's definitely not easy. It's not like just doing 20 to 30 questions is going to be enough to cover all the different question types. But if you go through all the reading passages and all the writing passages and all the math sections on Khan Academy, you will see a huge improvement in your score. Um, they also have videos that are covering like how to do exactly each specific type of passage. So for example, how do you do the science passage or how to do the reading passage and so on. So one of my biggest suggestions when you're doing the practice passages available on the Khan Academy website, make sure you do it in testing conditions. That means do the passage in one sitting and make sure you're not going to any other resource or website while you're solving that passage. Sometimes it's a bit hard because Khan Academy is like an online website, you have access to the internet, but try to really stick to just solving the passage in the time given. Um, that really helped me get the flow of the real test and the real SAT to make sure that when I was on the real SAT, when I was taking it, the practice I had done was actually the same as the real SAT. Uh, one other helpful thing that Khan Academy has related to SAT practice is you, is you can directly link your College Board account. And what that means is it, Khan Academy will have access to all your scores and what exactly you were getting wrong. So that can tell you, okay, so you were getting a lot of the science passages wrong and that's something that you need to practice. Or you were getting a lot of this writing trick wrong, right? Maybe you didn't know when to shorten paragraphs down or something like that. And they'll give you questions directly related to that. So that was really helpful in my case. Um, and I'll talk a bit more about this when I talk about the practice tests. So the other resource that I use a lot were the practice tests that are available by College Board. Uh, so now these are more commonly known about but taking the digital version of these tests on Khan Academy was really helpful because Khan Academy was directly able to tell me, okay, these sections, these passages, and these question types are what I'm missing. And that's the same thing that you would have if you just directly connected to your College Board account. Um, so I was able to practice these particular question types that I knew I had a lot of trouble with and to make sure that they're, instead of being my weakness, they were one of my strengths. Um, Many of my friends get scared about the fact that there's only like eight or 10 pr different practice tests and they don't want to run out of practice tests. 
uh, that's not really a concern that you should be having. Just you're not really wasting any practice tests by taking them, right? Like you want to take all the tests. You'll see that in the subreddit for the SAT, there's tons of free resources and tons of like past SAT tests that you can practice if you need more practice, if you exhaust all the tests that you have. Um, I would suggest best way to practice SAT, take it around a month before the actual SAT to see where you're getting wrong, um, questions wrong. And that's like the specific parts that you still need to go over. But now that you have a month to do it, uh, that gives you a lot more time to really make sure that you're covering all those topics in detail. And then take another SAT practice test like one week before your actual testing date, because that way you're going to know where you're at. And in that last week, you can really focus your effort on those last minute things that are fixable, like certain grammar rules or math tricks that you weren't sure about. Um, that happened. That I, That's what I did. And it turned out to work for me. Not necessarily the best technique for everyone, but in my case, uh, I found it to work. So I never actually used any prep books or tutors to prepare for the SAT, but I had a lot of friends that did, and they do. They tended to find these resources to be helpful, uh, but they're one of the things that you don't need to succeed on the SAT test. The free resources that I mentioned in this video are more than enough um, for you to do well on the SAT test, as long as you're using them and putting some work into like the questions that are available. Um, that being said, SAT prep books, tutors, they are generally helpful. And if you can afford it, uh, I would suggest maybe take a class, try it, see if it's helpful. Um, if you can't afford tutors, that's also okay. So Khan Academy has this free program called schoolhouse.world um, and they have like free SAT tutors. This is all live, um, free SAT tutors and SAT boot camps. So if you can't afford to pay for SAT tutors, that might be another option that you have at your disposal because it's just free classes for the SAT. And sometimes a live tutor can help you where videos might not be able to. I hope this video will be helpful for your SAT journey, uh, but it's important to keep in mind that everyone learns in a different way. So don't exactly stick to what I'm saying here, right? You don't always wanna go for 1600 practice questions. Do what's right for you, whether that's more practice or less practice, but using these resources will help you score well on the test. And let me know down below in the comments what you would like to hear next about the SAT test. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked or enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a like and subscribe to our channel. For more amazing content, you can check out thepuzzler.com.